and welcome to Lords Brinko YouTube channel. Hope you're all okay. We're having a little coffee this morning and uh, I thought we'd have a chat. I wanted to talk about the dislike button. Um, now, this is not something I would normally do, but as my uh, channel's got over a thousand people now, I feel like the people that are watching could do with knowing what's going on. So, YouTube has taken the, the functionality away from the dislike button. So basically, you can hit that thing as many times as you like, it does absolutely nothing. From the point of view, the person, let's say I'm doing a live stream, I can't see if you've disliked it or not, and neither can you, and, and neither can anybody else that looks at it. So they've taken this functionality away, and they said what it's, I watched their, they, they'd send a YouTube creators video out, um, and what they said, the reason why that they're taking this button away is because of groups of people targeting individual YouTubers' channels to give them lots of downvotes. Um, and because of that, uh, it's affecting the mental health of the YouTuber. Now, I have a few questions on this, or a few worries on this. What I... I right, I don't want to make this political, because my followers you guys that follow the channel you could be whatever political party and i don't want to get into that I, I really don't want to get into that however i don't i think this is very this is all smoke and mirrors as to why they're actually doing this because as a youtube uh, as a small youtuber with a tiny channel it's really useful for me to see how many people dislike my videos because then I can I know if I'm doing something right or I'm doing something wrong and and you end up if you have uh, you know if you're a fighter or a racing driver or a boxer or, or a cricketer or whatever it is and all you do is surround yourself with yes men then what happens is you don't know when you're doing something wrong and you end up making a fool of yourself so that's my concern you need people around you and you need people sometimes to say no i don't like this or that's not very good or whatever so that's one reason why i like it the second reason is i like to know if i've got trolls because i can keep an eye on I'm like oh yeah there's two or three people that really don't like my content well that's interesting that's worth bearing in mind next time i do a live feed or whatever and it helps me spot those those potential issues now it might be that somebody just doesn't like it or maybe they pressed the wrong button i don't know but i i don't have um sleepless nights over whether someone liked my video or didn't like it if they didn't like it they didn't like it, it's fine if you don't like it absolutely you you're entitled to your opinion whether you like something or you don't like something now this stinks to me of something it's like how can i make it sound it's like it's hidden in plain sight. So what they're doing is they say, oh, yeah, we're doing this for you, we're doing this for you. And actually, they're not doing it for us at all. It's got nothing to do with us as creators. It's because there's a lot of stuff going on in politics in America. Not here, not in the UK. But what's happening is when um, there's certain parties putting up things, um, they get massive dislikes. Um, and I noticed the White House has turned its comments off as well, so you can't even comment anymore. Um, but they're, they're literally, you cannot see that a video has been downvoted now. So the problem is with that is it creates that censorship of of content. Now, okay, I, un I understand why they might do it for political reasons, fine. But the, it filters down to the little guys like us because now you're going to see. I mean, I am. I'll put my hand up. I do like a bit of clickbait now and again. Um, you know, the jeep. We get. We took a jeep to Iceland. Yeah, it wasn't really Iceland. It was just the shop. Um, but it opens the door to a ton of dodgy videos and a ton of stuff. There's so many videos that come on. Uh, certainly on kids YouTube that my my kids watch. And it's just propaganda and it's things from China, like top five facts. And they're all lies. They're like, if you fact check these, these videos, they're just nonsense. But because 
now you can't so you know i've showed the kids look look how many dislikes this is this is not real this is nonsense but because you've taken that ability away to see the dislike you're opening the floodgates for all sorts of nonsense to be put on there so that that's one issue the other like you cannot how can i put it you cannot measure uh whether when you're going to go and watch that video whether you think it's good or whether you think it's bad is it worth committing my time to this video is it garbage um the other side to it is if you've got people putting up misinformation and they are putting up stuff that is just outright nuts um you know next level conspiracy dodginess religion whatever that's on like crazy ends of the spectrum people don't know can't gauge that from a quick glance they've got to watch the video and by that time maybe the damage is already done that's what i'm saying so i feel like i don't think it's the right thing to do i i, I feel like people should have the right to dislike a video um and i think people should have a right to um you know if they're upset about something say it i, I think it's a very dangerous place when you start censoring 50 percent of the the people you know or 50 percent of the option you're like well we don't like that bit so because it doesn't suit our needs so we're going to completely cut that off so that you cannot um you know show your disdain for whatever this thing is um i think i think it's i think we're on dodgy ground youtube i think that this is a, a little bit 1984 if i'm honest um and i, I don't you know i'm uh I think from my point of view, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian and it scares me because I see that and I think further down the line, you know, and in Australia, they've got these these camps now for COVID and they're taking people away. I'm mean, like, what are we ushering in here? You know, I, I'm just concerned. I'm just, it scares me. How is there going to be a time when they're knocking on my door and dragging me off to a camp because... I'm a Christian. Is that is that where it's going to? That's my concern, um, and and not just for me. I'm talking about other people from other religions, maybe other other kind of causes. You know, it, it it's it's heading down a path that is very weird, and it's very controlling. And you can't if you start censoring people to the point where you're taking away any kind of negative now i am a big person on positivity um and trying to be positive and I, I get it right sometimes and i get it wrong other times but certainly got it wrong this morning when there was a lady that was driving at two miles an hour and i was like taking the kids to school it wasn't very positive that this morning but <laughs> you know if if you're using that as a mask to to censor people and censor people's opinion then where does that stop because the problem is okay let's say you know there's a there's a shift in power from one group of people to another and you put all these things in place what's to say that they won't take it one step further again and then we're back to where we were towards the second world war you know that you know that's that's the okay i'm probably looking way way ahead but it it worries me i mean we've got cct cctv everywhere we've got um you know we've all got gps trackers on our phones we're all you know we all bank online you know there, there is nowhere to hide from that point of view and actually if you're doing anything wrong then then yeah fair enough you need to be held accountable for it but at the same time it's it scares me a little bit in that why do you, why does a government or why do a group of people feel the need to exercise so much control and that that is scary that's terrifying um and it worries it worries me for my kids and stuff and it's all yeah okay you say john this is just ridiculous this is a you're talking about a, a dislike button but essentially what's happened is that youtube has censored like a whole bunch of people and this is the thing that really is really daft about it so they claim it's for the mental health of the creator however 
if I want to go and find how many people dislike my video, that is still in the YouTube studio. I can still go in and find out how many people dislike my video. So if I can do that, what's the point? And then, and then what the, I think what they cited was, well, if you take the functionality of the button away, less people dislike it. Well, yeah, sure. You know, if my car doesn't start in the morning, I'm probably not going to drive it as much. I understand that. But it's also, I've heard a similar thing with Instagram. Instagram were talking about, they've done two things. They're doing this A-B testing at the moment. So my personal account's been chosen where I can't just, scroll down fast and just flick through things i can only it holds me on every single post but my business one i can just spin through and the reason that they've done that is so that you they they if like i'm running an advert on instagram people see my advert they have to look at it but i I've, I've found that i just don't use my personal one anywhere near as much as i used to because i use the business one because it's faster so there's that but one of the sorry my point i've gone off on a tangent here instagram they were talking about taking away the the you know how many likes you know when people you click it you get the little heart they're taking that away and they cited mental health but on that it's actually something slightly different it's to do with uh influencers use their amount of likes or their amount of views to um you know let's say they go up to a company and say hey um i could sell your um men's grooming hair kit we know who we're talking about um and we're gonna do that and we get what we're gonna do uh, uh, we're gonna share that on our instagram we're gonna do a reel about it and we're gonna do a story and we on average get this many likes this many views and this many comments so what they want to do is they want to get rid of the likes because then influencers, influencers can't sell how big they are. So it takes it takes that monetization element away from that influencer because basically they can't um, they can't show how much you know influence they actually have. And it's actually because uh, Facebook group. Uh, are missing out on the advertising revenue they don't like it when people are doing product placements and collabs because it doesn't make them any money you see so what they want to do is get rid of that but then you see it's the same thing it's for mental health so they say but you can you'll be able to pay this is what they're saying to be able to see those likes so if you are an influencer you can pay x amount a month and you can see how many likes you've got and then you can go and you can go and advertise or go to those people that you advertise to. So then Instagram get their um, they get their money basically. So and Facebook, I mean, for business advertising now, you've got to be spending through the nose. I just won't do it. Um, I, can't, I I tried it the other day and it Facebook yielded very very little. Um, so you know that that's th these are corporations. YouTube is owned by Google. They're a corporation. And I, I'm kind of, you know, I'm finding this very, this removing the dislike. People should have a right to not like something. I just think that that is a basic right. You know, if goodness me, if we all had the same opinion and the same, you know, everything, wouldn't the world be so boring? I mean, just boring. People are allowed to have different opinions. That's it. People don't like me fine you're allowed to not like me there's people that i don't like i'm allowed to not like them if you don't like something that's fine you know i know we get annoyed and we say oh you know who would take the time to dislike a button but um hit the dislike button but sometimes there's videos out there which are absolute trash um and you know they're misinformation i want to be able to say put the dislike button and say hey be careful watching this because it's a lie or it's got some very concerning stuff in it. And quite often these videos will turn the comments off. I mean, that's another thing. If we're getting rid of the dislikes, how long is it going to be before they say, well, we're going to get rid of the comments box now because we're going to take those comments. Uh, people don't need to comment anymore. If they want to comment, they, they talk to you through your social media. You know, it's, it's, 
it's going it's going a, a really strange route so anyway i just wanted to talk about it and uh, see what you guys thought obviously you guys follow the channel do you you write in the comments do you want a dislike button or are you not bothered or does it worry you you know put, i want to hear i want to hear what you think oh this coffee's lovely um yeah there you go so um yeah I would say uh, hit the like button, but you know what? Smash the dislike button, see what happens. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. It's just something I was looking at it yesterday, and it popped up in my YouTube uh, studio creator jobby thing, and I just thought, I don't like this. This is, this is not nice. I mean, yeah, it's just not useful for a little creator either. So, how do I know if someone likes my video or not? You've all got a comment now if you don't like it. And most people won't be bothered to comment. So, anyway. There you go. Something different. I've been John. Lord's Brewing Company. If uh, you want some beer, link will be in the description if you want to buy some. And, um, yeah. What's your opinion? Let me know. And uh, I'm trying to find the button to stop recording. I am so ever the professional. Uh, where is it now? Right. See you later, Alan McGaggis.